Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Before Japan, I'm going to be sharing with you five ways Japan has changed my life. These are in no particular order, so let's get on with it. So, number one, I apply a higher attention to detail in my work, no matter what it is. So, one of the things that really struck me living in Japan for the two years that I did was the extreme work ethic that the Japanese have. It doesn't really matter, like, what job it is. They always put their best effort forward and just have an extreme attention to detail. Even just going to McDonald's, the amount of detail and care in preparing the sandwiches, making sure fries were always fresh, and just the meal and everything, just the presentation was always top notch. The higher end restaurants and stuff, you kind of expect that, but from kind of the lower end fast food, just kind of grab and go, sort of dealio, um, hey, that rhymed. Uh, you don't really, at least as an American, uh, I didn't really expect that. And it was one of the things that I really appreciated during my time in Japan. And so the second thing that has changed my life uh, in living in Japan was that I take baths to soak every couple days. Uh, one of the things that I did uh, whenever I get home from work, I would you know, shower and then just take a nice long soak in a hot tub to uh, just kind of relax the muscles, let all the worries and stuff from the day dissipate. And one of the nice things was the Japanese tubs are a lot deeper, much deeper than American tubs. So I could actually like pretty much fit my whole body. I mean, I'd have to like kind of have my legs up a little bit, but I could like fit up to my neck as far as water goes. So I could just like really kick back and like take it easy after a long day. And then, you know, after I towel off and stuff, I've got a nice cold chew high waiting for me in the fridge. And so the third thing that has changed my life from living in Japan is that I enjoy walking and riding my bike. Well, in Japan anyway. I did enjoy doing those things in America before I left, but since I came back, um, it's, gotten a little crazy as far as uh, traffic and stuff like that goes. It's hard for me to get around by walking or biking and stuff in America, but in Japan, it's like super easy. I really enjoyed just biking across Japan, going to different places, whether it's just down the street to the Kibini to pick up some stuff, or even biking all the way down to Jogishima, which is at the uh, tip of the Mira Peninsula in Kanagawa. So that was a fun trip. And so the fourth thing that has impacted my life since living in Japan is that I drink unsweetened tea. It wasn't really anything that I did before I arrived in Japan. Um, in fact, I remember when I was stationed in San Diego, I picked up a uh, thing of unsweetened tea out in the, uh, the import market, which is very common in Japan. I remember when I first had it, it was like super bitter. And I'm just like, ah, this is disgusting. I can't handle this. And when I got out to Japan, I you know, became more accustomed to that taste palette and it just became easier for me to drink. And, you know, tea is like everywhere. You can get it at the convenis, at the, uh, you can get it at the vending machines, you know, you can get green tea, friggin' uh, barley tea, all different kinds of teas, black tea, of course. Unsweetened tea and just kind of a lowering in the amount of sugar and sweetened things was something that I had uh, really become accustomed to in living out in Japan. And so the fifth and final thing that has really impacted my life from my time living in Japan is that I have a much greater appreciation for nature. I would walk around and stuff before I left, but I really didn't take in just the aesthetic of nature, whether it's just walking around in like the forest or maybe just walking around by the, uh, by the ocean near where I lived in Yokosuka. Just going to a park, like that was huge for me, you know, like <laughs> the parks in Japan are just so nice. They're a great place to just kind of relax, unwind at the end of the day. Or, you know, if you wake up early, go for a nice run. Uh, that's something I gotta do to lose some damn weight. But, uh, you know, that's for a video for another time. So yeah, guys, that is five ways that Japan has changed my life. And with that said, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.